thanks for joining us for another episode. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to repair a gutter. If you're a homeowner, gutters are falling off the face of your board, maybe you got a saggy gutter, not sure what to do, I'm going to show you exactly how to repair the gutter the way a contractor would if you came to your home so you can do it the right way. First thing, when you, when you get any of your supplies, do not get them at your local hardware store. You don't want to get any of your supplies there. They don't have any of the right hangers, any of the material that I've ever seen. It's just not really a good grade. You'd be better off um, if you're not sure exactly what they are from the images that I show you. Shoot us over an email service at everythinggutter.com. Tell us what you're looking for and we'll send you to the right location because you can buy the real, the, the good supplies, uh, the good quality supplies online. There's a lot of places you can go to. One of them is Amazon. I know they sell most of uh, uh, the good supplies. They do sell some ones I don't recommend. So uh, just watch carefully what we use because it's going to be important to use the right product because you want to do it once and you don't want to have to do it again. So let me just show you here now. I have the drill already up here. Um, with, this in, with this job in particular, the customer called. Gutters are sagging. They're holding water. Um, they're just falling off the fascia board. The gutters really aren't in too bad a shape. Um, she's just having those uh, those issues with the gutter. So let me just show you down here. I'm taking a peek. So what we got here now is, um, as you can see, if you look down at this gutter here, you can see it has the old spike and furls. So if you look at this gutter. This is about a 20 foot gutter, right around there. And this gutter is hung with the older spike and furls. Now this gutter was probably installed in the 80s at some point. Um, that's the older system they used to use back in the 80s, the spike and furls. So what we're doing is just coming along and putting some hangers in the gutter. Now what you're going to want to do for hangers, you're going to want to put the hangers in, in between of each uh, nail set. So you have the two here, you'll put a hanger right there in between there, you'll put one here, and so on with the gutter. So we already have some in. So let me just give you a quick illustration. Now with this gutter, it's a little tough, you know, because if you flip it on there, you can see it's not going to go in. The trick to getting that in is you're going to put your foot on the gutter, you push the gutter out at the same time, slightly pulling the roof. You don't want to rip the shingle. This shingle's old. It's, it's really brittle. So you're going to want to lightly pull it and push you out on the gutter at the same time. And that's basically it. Just pops it right in. And then you come along. You'll screw that in. Now you can see how far it pulled that gutter up against the house if you look at this nail. How it pulled it up against the fascia board. You can see it made a pretty good difference pulling that nice and tight and snug. You'll just tap the nail just like that. Bam, this is reinforced. This isn't going to come off. It's screwed into the fascia board now. And as you can see, we've already done this here. If you come along this gutter, there's one there, there, there. This is all reinforced um, all the way down and we'll continue it here. You know, two more hangers we'll put in here, one here, one there. And then this gutter will be fully reinforced and it's not going to come down. So just like I showed you the other one, you'll clip this on the front. And to give you a brief, brief description, this is called hang fast hanger, reinforced hidden hanger. This particular hanger is the one you're going to want to use. They sell a knockoff of it at your local hardware stores. I don't recommend them. I mean, you can literally get your fingers and just bend them. They're not strong. They're not really going to do you any good long term wise. These are these are solid. You can't bend these hangers. They're really strong. So this is what you're going to want to use. And you put your foot on the gutter. You're going to push you out not to where you can damage the gutter or damage the roof. Real slow. Take your time with it, and then you pop it into place just like that. Now, when you screw the hanger in, and that's what happens. You can see how it pulls it up against that face you board tight. You look at this nail head, and you look at this nail head. You can see how loose that gutter was. So you give that a little tap, and that's basically it. Now the gutter's screwed in up against that face you board. It's aligned at the same time. It's not holding no water and all the debris has been taken out of the gutter. And what we'll do is we'll finish this gutter off. Um, once we're done here, we'll hit these end caps. If the end caps are leaking, you'll hit this end cap, you'll hit that end cap. There's no seams in the gutter, it's seamless. So we'll hit the end caps and it'll be good to go. And the sealer we'll use is the GSL 2321 
We'll use the silver GSL. I know you can get that at Amazon. A little squeeze tube, five ounce uh, squeeze tube, you can pick up. That's what we recommend you use. If you have any questions, shoot us over an email at service at everything gutter.com. Uh, attention, Jimmy. We'll get your reply back. Uh, maybe even post a video on our YouTube channel. Thanks for joining. Until next time. Thank you.